Benidorm is a city in the province of Alicante in eastern Spain on the Mediterranean coast. Once a tiny fishing village until the 1960s when it became a popular Mediterranean holiday destination. Its two wide sandy beaches, Levante Beach and Ponient Beach, are backed by palm-lined promenades, bars, and rows of skyscrapers. It boasts many kilometers of fine, clean sandy beaches, safe swimming waters, and great attractions. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Benidorm, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Mundomar Benidorm. Mundomar is an animal-themed park inhabited by aquatic animals such as dolphins, penguins, and sea lions, as well as tropical birds. There are large enclosures and each species lives within an area closely resembling its natural habitat. With many regular shows and demonstrations to see, the dolphin show is definitely the highlight of the day, dazzling the audience with a synchronized display. There are also special experiences, such as meetings with dolphins face to face or swimming with sea lions. These are very popular, so it's advisable to book in advance. Number 9 is the Benidorm Old Town. Benidorm Old Town is a completely different world with a great chance to dive into some authentic Spanish culture and history. Walking is the best way to explore the Old Town area, and the whole place is bustling with character and charm. Begin by wandering around the maze of narrow, cobbled streets, and discover shops, cafes, and pubs tucked away in little side alleys. The blue domed church and rows of white houses help the Old Town keep that authentic feel. At number 8, take a trip to Benidorm Island. Benidorm Island is a small island and nature reserve that makes a great excursion for the whole family. The boat ride out from Levante Beach is half the fun, putting the size of Benidorm into context. On the island, there's a small cafe, but the best thing to do is to take the short hike to the top of the hill for splendid views. Number 7 is La Cruz de Benidorm. The cross, to the west of Benidorm, was replaced with a permanent monument in 1975 when the old one was blown away in a storm. Situated at the top of the Sierra Gelda Natura Reserve, the views from the cross are spectacular both day and night, and it is well worth a visit just to see the stunning scenery across Benidorm and the surrounding area. At number 6 is Church of St. James and St. Anne. The Church of St. James is dedicated to the patron saint of the town. It's set at the very top of the old town on a hill called Kenfali. It is a neoclassical building built in the 18th century with a typical blue Mediterranean dome. Its lovely interior has a Latin cross layout with a central nave and small side chapels. Number 5 is Aqualandia Benidorm. Aqualandia Benidorm is one of Spain's oldest and best water parks. It opened in 1985 and continues to grow with new rides and amusements, added almost every season. Some of these can break records, like Big Bang, one of the tallest water slides in Europe, while the Vertigo sends riders hurtling to the splash pool at immense speeds. The wave pool at Aqualandia is gigantic, with enough room for thousands of swimmers at one time. Aqualandia is one of the best days out in Benidorm for all the family. At number 4 is Poniente Beach. Poniente Beach is generally quieter and more family-oriented than the bustling Levante Beach. The golden sandy beach is cleaned every day, and there is safe bathing with lifeguards on watch. This beach has received a lot of investments in the last few years, with the network of boardwalks making it accessible to wheelchair users. Number 3 is the Sierra Helada Natural Park. The Sierra Helada Nature Reserve, which is stretched across the mountains and cliffs around Benidorm, has several hikes that are suitable for all abilities. There are well signposted hiking trails, including a stunning cliff walk, and another that leads to the Benidorm Cross at the top of the mountain for some tremendous views. At number 2 is the Balcony of the Mediterranean. The Balcony of the Mediterranean, also known as the Benidorm Overlook, divides two beaches and offers a great view over the sea. In the past, it was part of the fortress built to defend people from pirate raids. Afterwards, the castle was abandoned, and today, visitors may only see the remains of the walls on the rocks and the viewing point, which is also known as the Balcony of the Mediterranean. And at number one is Terra Meticia. One of Spain's biggest and most famous theme parks is right next to Benidorm. Its three areas are inspired by ancient civilizations and features huge roller coasters, exciting rides, and all kinds of live performances, including choreographed street shows. Visitors can shoot lasers at monsters in the Minotaur's Labyrinth, get drenched on the thrilling Fury of Triton, or relax in the terraces of the Fountain of the Nile. With so much to see and do in Terra Meticia, there is something for everyone. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Benidorm. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.